Hi, welcome to Modeling and Simulation of Dynamical Systems at Czech Technical University in Prague. In this video I would like to continue with the recapitulation of basic formats of mathematical models. In particular I would like to talk about higher order models. Unlike in the previous videos where we considered systems of order or models of order 1 and 2, here we will consider general uh, order and arbitrarily high but uh, finite. Uh, unlike in the previous two uh, cases, we will only restrict ourselves to linear models. Therefore, let's start with this first order ordinary differential equation, linear one. On the left hand side, we have a linear combination of uh, derivatives of the output labeled y using the coefficients a0 through an. On the right hand side, we have a linear combination of the inputs labeled u and the coefficients for this linear combination are b0 through bm. Now, uh, assuming, a zero th or assuming a zero initial conditions, we can apply Laplace transform to convert this ordinary differential equation into an algebraic equation. So, on the left hand side of the equation, we will have a polynomial uh, in S with the coefficients a0 through an, which multiplies the Laplace transform of the output. On the right hand side, we will have a polynomial again in the S variable, the coefficients uh, b th b0 through bm, multiplying the Laplace transform of the input. Now, the culmination of this development is that we can express the Laplace transform of the output as a function of the Laplace transform of the input using the two polynomials A and B, actually using their fraction. So B over A is the, the term that relates the input and the output. It's so important that we uh, give it a name, first a symbol, let's label it a G, and we call it a transfer function. This is stuff that has been introduced in uh, elementary core or introductory courses on automatic control, right? Now, unless you are familiar with it, you may find it useful to know that there is a function called TF in MATLAB, uh, which you can use to create such model in MATLAB workspace. Now, the question is, uh, how does this framework generalize or extends to the situation with more inputs and more outputs? Well, obviously you will have to write a bunch of equations uh, in, uh, with, with time derivatives of several variables, but I will not do it here, it will be quite messy. Instead, I will write down immediately the compact version of the, of the algebraic equation. So you see on the left and uh, right you have uh, the, co the polynomials, uh, which are actually matrix polynomials, that means uh, their coefficients are matrices, or you can equally well view them as uh, polynomial matrices, that means matrices whose end Entries are polynomials. Now it may be an interesting information for you. Well, b before uh, first, uh, let's again finish with uh, with uh, uh, expressing the output as a function of the input. So we need to multiply both sides by the inverse of a, and what we obtain is again a fraction of polynomials, but this time poly uh, matrix polynomials, or also called left polynomial matrix fraction. So this is the perfect analog of the transfer function as a fraction of two polynomials. It may be a useful piece of information for you to know that this framework has been investigated with quite some success here in Prague, and in particular in our department by Vladimir Kuchera and Michael Shebek in the past, and they got worldwide reputation for that. Unfortunately, there is uh, no uh, uh, function in a standard MATLAB for creating uh, left polynomial matrix fractions, but you can actually use a third-party product called Polynomial Toolbox, developed by Professor Michael Shebek. The toolbox is uh, installed in the computers in our labs, and you you, the students of the pro program, are allowed to take your own personal copy with you uh, and install it on uh, your home computer.